Hey, what's up? Tyler here, also known as Genetic Spartan, and I'm pretty excited for today's tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some chroma keying in After Effects as well as Halo Reach using a blue screen stage that I built using Forge. So why don't we go check that out? The blue screen consists of Colosseum walls and shield barriers and has enough spawn points to support up to 16 players. The stage itself is large enough to where you can go into Forge and place things like small structures in front of the blue screen if needed. The back wall consists of one-way shield barriers, so if you happen to get stuck, just head over to the teleporter in the right corner of the stage and you'll be able to roam freely again. Okay, so we're back here in After Effects, and I have my footage imported already. And as you can see, here is the blue screen stage here in the background. And what I have here is a Spartan running up a sniper's nest, looking around, and then running back down. So I want to take that, drag it down here to make a new composition. But first off, I do want to point out that Halo Reach actually has a max frames per second of 30. So what Bungie did is they added this sort of ghosting motion blur effect in an attempt to smooth out the gameplay. Now that does create problems for us when we're trying to key, but we're going to try to work with that regardless of the semi-transparent edge along our subject. So first off, I want to select my footage, and I want to hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, and I want to do that one more time, and we'll go to the color mode here, and if you don't see that, you can hit this toggle switch, and we'll set that to color burn, and that'll give us a more solid blue background to work with. Now I can duplicate that about two more times, and I'll get an even more solid blue, and I want to hold shift, and select the second layer, and that'll select all the layers in between. And I want to go to layer and pre-compose. And this will be our mask layer. And what that'll do is it'll take all those layers and put them into one composition for us to work with and make our mask. So make sure the mask layer is selected and go to effect, keying, and then key light. Now go to this color picker and select the blue of our background and we're going to change the view to screen matte. Now come to the color and adjust it a little bit so we can get more black into our background. And that's pretty good. Now we are losing a little bit of white in our subjects, so I'm going to come down to screen matte and I'm going to bring down the clip white to bring back some of that white. And that looks pretty good right there. Now there are a little bit of speckles here in the background. So I'm going to come to screen shrink slash grow. I'm going to change that to negative one. And that'll get rid of most of those little speckles in the background. As well as some of these uh, blue pixels that'll be on the edges of our objects. So now we have a pretty good uh, luma mask to work with. So we'll come down to footage. And we'll go to track mat and we'll set that to luma mat. And whatever was black in our mat will be transparent. And whatever was white will be more opaque. So now if you see here where our ghosting motion blur was, it's still staying its bluish color. So what we can do to fix that is we'll go to our footage and we'll select effect keying and then key light again. And we'll go to the color here and we'll try to change that to a blue that kind of matches what our background used to be. And we'll try to match the color of our Spartan here by shifting the blue. And that looks pretty good right there. Might be a little bit too much saturated. So I'm going to take the color here and bring it to the left. And try to match it best I can. And that looks pretty good right there. Now I'll press OK. Now I went through a lot of different techniques trying to find the best one. And this is the best one I could come up with. And it's not perfect, but it does a pretty good job. Now all we have left to do is to get a background up in here. So I'm going to select this picture of some grunts disguised as penguins. I'm going to bring that below my footage. Let's scale that up a bit. Maybe add some uh, lens blur here for some depth. And there we go. So I'd say we got a pretty nice key out of using this little technique. Uh, you can find a download link to the map in the description. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and got a little bit more knowledge about chroma keying and also chroma keying and halo reach. My name is Tyler and we'll see you later.